Good morning, YouTube. This is Toshiba back again with part two of the video that I started yesterday with the good and the beautiful. Um, some of you on the Facebook page of the good and beautiful um, were interested in seeing what I got in my whole lot. And I was super giddy and excited to show you. And then, of course, this machine failed me. This thing that you see here with no camera on it failed me. And here we are on my cell phone, mm -hmm. like the old school, <laughs> recording the video that I already recorded yesterday. So um, I already put up the like 12 hour long video on my YouTube channel. And again, the video was only about 15 minutes, but I did record um, a 30 minute video that got cut off somehow by my camera. It got a bug or something. So I'm not using the camera today. I'm using my cell phone and I'm going to try to get through this really quickly. Um, I've already gone through the handwriting as you can see over there. And um, here's a little cutie that woke up early this morning. I tried to film before they woke up. but No dice. Anyway, so I'm Toshiba Joy with... Um, I haven't named my homeschool yet. I've already toyed with a whole lot of names. I like the Joyful Tribe. I like the Joyful Homeschool. My middle name is Joy, and so Toshiba Joy Homeschool is my Instagram page. So if you want to look me up, feel free to do so. Um, it's mostly homeschool stuff and playing outside stuff. So if you're interested in things like that, have at it. So again, I'm a minute in already, and I'm already blabbering about nothing. So um, we'll get started. I um, <clears throat> found the... The Good and the Beautiful through Jane on the um, the Salty Tribe on YouTube. You guys should look her up if you haven't. Most of you already have. And so I decided to order some of the materials um, just to see what they were like because I am the opposite of minimalist. <laughs> and I've been trying to move in that direction with my family. And so anyway, here is level three <clears throat> of what we'll be using this year. My son will be going to third grade. I did go through the assessments to see if um, he would fit. He could read most of those words on there. Clearly, I think he made one or two mistakes. And uh, of course, he can't diagram any sentences because we are switching over from a Becca. And a Becca um, is really awesome in phonics. However, it doesn't start um, any grammar until third grade because I have another son who is Dylan's twin who will keep going with a Becca. It's really cut and dry and simple, one page a day. And um, he doesn't do well with change. So. Anyway, let's dig right in. So you probably have already seen on my video the handwriting. So I'll just go through once again in case that video acts a little funky. But again, I'm not going to go through this again, but I just wanted to show you what he'll be using. And he is doing level three and he's doing um, the level four um, handwriting because, like I said in my first video, I... Um, Originally wanted to get level three with level three. However, he's already writing in cursive completely He's a really great cursive writer and this one actually doesn't have that much cursive in it. It doesn't start until I am my other video. I said it probably like 63 or something and so um, It's a very gentle approach to um, Handwriting and so I got level um, three from my daughter who will be doing level two of the literature in handwriting and level six I got from my fifth grader, but I actually may look into level five for This third grader that's using level three because he couldn't write in cursive completely So again the materials This is about how thick it is. I didn't show that yesterday. I was so giddy and excited So now I'm more calm and relaxed still so you can read this pause the video if you want to read about the course in here um here it says the workbook has 100 sheets, three to four sheets per week for normal school year. So that's awesome. Um, this one's completely cursive and it has state capitals, things like that. So again, that was kind of what you didn't, if you didn't see the video, I'm just giving you a little preview. And this was level three, which I'm not sure that was, this was intended to go with this. Um, I'm sure it was, but I... Because we've used Becca, we've already accomplished most of the learning that's provided with cursive. And this one is the level three, and it's mostly all manuscript. That's the first introduction to cursive, and it's less than 64. So, um, yeah, that's how it starts out. There's no table of contents or anything. You just, you just go through it. And here is the nature book. 
that we were stoked to receive because we already got some watercolor if you've seen our other video. Um, I was also suggested by Jane from Salty Tribe. I just stalked her page and binged watched everything, as most of you probably did as well. So here's what it looks like. I went through it in the other video. Um, I just don't know. I think all of this is in the first video, but if you haven't seen it, Pokey. Got a few glitches, more than a few glitches yesterday. And now I'm one handing it with my cell phone. So, anyway, the quality is amazing. You can see this is some type of hard. If you have any other products, it's made. It's actually a much more durable material. This one is like a cardstock um, material, and this one is. I'm not saying it's waterproof, but it's a little bit tougher material than what this book is made out of. And let's see. These two are more comparable in terms of feel, of weight in the paper, and this one is a lot more hefty. And um, yeah, probably, probably because it's going to be outside. And leaf samples and, and things like that. This is why I really bought it. When I saw this page in the PDF, I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be so awesome because we don't know a whole lot about nature and things like that. And my son is interested. And actually, the son who this curriculum for is right here. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to sit down and thumb through what we got. So, I'm going to one hand it. Here is the course companion that comes with level three. You've probably seen it before, but. I'm probably going to make a copy of this like was suggested in another video because ever since I found um, the Salty Tribe, I've seen quite a few others. So if you um, get on YouTube and just look up The Good and the Beautiful, it's a very small community of us that now have videos. But I was surprised to see that there were others. And so anyway, someone had laminated this and put it on their fridge. And I thought that was an awesome idea. I'm not going to put it on the fridge, but I'm going to laminate it and put it on their desks because my kids do like checklists and feeling independent and things like that. Um, I said this yesterday, um, I'm just not sure what got to the end of the video, and I watched it like a million times without having to listen, and I just can't anymore. So here is the spelling list, and I there's only 15, I think, there's only a chart of eight. And so what I said that I might do is like take these in chunks and do half at a time, because there are other words that they want them to master in the program, but this wasn't like, if it was a 30 week hypothetically, this wasn't 30 weeks of... Of spelling words so I thought that I would just break them up and then my um, youngest son uses the logic of English he has a little bit um, he's not dyslexic because he's only six and so we don't know any of that it's too soon to know but he transverses his words and stuff and the logic of English has a, quite a few um, spelling lists that I might be able to add some in here if we're having trouble with a certain phonogram sound I love that the spelling rules are all listed here very easy access to those and um, the poetry memorization sheet is here I need to slow down I'm going really quickly because I did this yesterday and then here is a list of poetry or a list of poems I should say that they're going to memorize by the end of the year and I like that it's all in one place um, and there's a glossary of terms on this side that goes through all the Parts of speech or English. Just get in there. Okay, so it's a really small paperback. It's been like online when I saw these or on the video. I didn't know how thick what the thickness of this was, and um, I like it. Um, it's really nifty and handy. Um, they come. It comes with two readers. Um, this one is for level three again, and none of the pictures are in color. I know that in level one that it does so. Let's see if I can switch hands and do it with my left hand. Um, I've marked this story because my son, Dylan, is um, the middle child. And so um, we were flipping through the PDFs before we purchased it. We saw this, the oldest, the youngest, and the one in the middle. And the one in the middle. So I marked that for him so maybe he can read it ahead. Um, if you want to see the leveling, so let's go back. Of Here's the table of contents. And there are all the stories that they're going to read. And the poetry is all there. But I'll just give you a clue of what it's like, level chapter one. So this is what it looks like. What Robin Redbreast knew. 
you can see I'm not gonna read it to you I do that a lot and it's because I have five children I'm always reading to people but in most some videos you'll see me reading word for word like you can't read yourself so you're gonna I'm sorry and then um, on the second book on um, the second volume of the reader you'll see here are the table of contents here and there's sorry if there's any glare I'm sitting by the window trying to get more natural light this morning and it starts off so I wanted you to see the comparison if the level increased any by halfway through I'm, it doesn't look like it did to me so here is the first chapter of volume one and here's the second one and so just looking at these two pages I'm not noticing a huge this font actually seems larger for some reason it could be my bad eyes um but I don't know it seems seems a little bit larger in this book actually um it's smaller in the book one I didn't notice that before but um the larger it is the better for me yeah and this is volume two so um, I was just looking to see if the words had kind of stepped up, but no, they really haven't. Um, we learned about Wampum first grade, so um, no, it didn't seem to be that different. But if you are wondering what level your children will be at, this is kind of impromptu. Here's my daughter's level two, and the pages are in color, and the words, you know, the level is down a bit, so um. This is getting confusing, but here's a little side-by-side -side comparison. If you want to see, let's do the first go to her, like one first story, and you'll see. This is level two here, and then this is level one. I'm sorry, level three. So, of course, there's so many more words here than there are here, and um, the stories are much shorter here in level two. And the pictures are colored. Just reminds me of when I was a child reading the Dick and Jane books for some reason. <laughs> the pictures, I haven't read through it all, but I hope there's some, it'd be nice if there were some pictures of some children of color in here. I'm not sure if there are. I know there's some Native American. But that would be a suggestion for the future. Have some more diversity, if at all possible. Anyway, before this video becomes 10 minutes long, I'm sorry, 30 minutes long. 30 minutes long. This is what the book is like. And that's it. Um, oh no, that's not it. There's one more thing that comes with this. Um, a penny's worth of character. Um, not a very long book. And this book doesn't come in until like the end. I've, I've looked through here. And when we were going through it the other day, um, I think a penny's worth of character. Let's see if I can find it. Anyway, I can't remember, and I, I marked it when I made the first video, and now, of course, that video is dead. So, I'm not going to go into as much depth just because I've done it before, and I know you guys didn't see it, but seriously, I'm a little upset about that <laughs> not over it yet still really annoyed that it took 12 hours for it to even work but like I said before and like you've seen these are beautiful um, and I love how the spelling rules are listed with what the child knows so man you can't really get more beautiful than that. I said yesterday on another video, I'm not super artsy. Um, a couple of my kids are, and I'm not, so that I even have an appreciation for this so a lot because I am really left brain, literal, logical type of personality. And um, I mean, I enjoy beautiful things just like the next person, but very surface level in terms of art in this manner. But I appreciate that it's chock full of vocabulary and grammar because that's my thing. I really love grammar so I read a lot of books but they're mostly non-fiction Christian books. Not a whole bunch of literary fiction and anything. That's like not my thing. My sister that sort of thing. Anyway I said in my other video if I'm just not sure what all got recorded that my the two children that I've ordered this for out of my five are my soon-to-be eight-year-old and my six-year-old 
So my eight-year-old son and my six-year-old daughter, and I believe they're gifted. I haven't had them tested, but my sister is gifted, and there are quite a few gifted people in my family, and this has the remnants to me of, I'm sorry, I'm going backwards. I'm using my left hand, but just wanted to let you see. This is like open syllables and spelling rules, lesson eight, lesson seven is art. This is really beautiful. I like that. My son reads his words very sectioned off by syllable. Um, I really like this too. It makes a good book. It makes a book worth reading. So anyway, as you can see, from lesson one and two all the way to here, it has so much. And there's a quiz. I didn't see one of these yesterday. So, anyway. Okay. So, that is level three. Mm -hmm. These are the character, And here are the challenging words. I have not opened them yet because I don't want them sprawled out over my whole living room. And a quick look at two. This is for my daughter. I mentioned it before. Who will be in second grade. Level two. Now she's definitely, if she's not gifted, she's definitely has a high IQ because she's reading just as good as my soon to be third graders. Um, and there's a lot of phonics woven into this one. And um, you know what? Every lesson is going to be before you do it. I love that it's open and go because I've had issues before with this. Becca is not open and go. You need to really prepare. I needed really a month to prepare, and I only prepared for about a week or two before I got a Becca side note, and I needed more time. I was super overwhelmed with all the books that were attached and tests and things of that nature. So this one is here. I actually found myself, after I read through this beginning part, I found myself looking for other things to read. Like, what about this one? I mean, it was all included, but I felt like I needed so much more because... Um, if this is minimalism, then Rebecca is the complete opposite of minimalism. So, anyway, um, the video is already super long because of my rambling, so I'll try to get through. And I first thought that um, my daughter would have, I'm sorry about the glare, that's the, that's the sun coming in, um, have trouble reading these words just because Rebecca is very phonics based and they do the smallest word possible. I mean, the least amount of syllables in most words. And these are, I thought they'd be more challenging, but her phonics um, preparation was really awesome. So, um, she did, she could read all of these words without any problem. Um, I like that in here, the, like, okay, I'm going to read this because it's just awesome. The bees buzz by the beehive. They are getting sleepy and need to go inside the beehive soon. And then they need to, you know, connect that. But like the depth of that sentence versus my son is using logic of English. And I love the logic of English for my young, for her twin brother. And it had like two logs or five logs and he draw the line and then um, funny hat. I mean, it was just like very basic. Now that was maybe like a kindergarten level, but still, um, I thought that was a long cry away from that. Anyway, reading review. It's just really beautiful. It's hard to like, it, I am not very good. I told you I was an artsy or I'm not very descriptive, but this is like amazingly well done compared to some of the best curriculum curricula out there, to be honest with you, because I've seen a lot of it because we had a tough time finding curriculum that fit my oldest son who is going to fifth grade. And I did not purchase this for him because I wanted to look at it for my gifteds first and see how it would compare. Oh, look at that. I like this one more. So anyway, again, I'm not going to go through it all. Oh, wow. Look by 74. How she'll be reading. Oh, it's funny. Like, anyway, this is a side note, but I remember watching an episode of Everybody Loves Raymond and he pronounced this word wrong on his sports show. And I still think that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Um, but the words have totally gotten larger and more difficult. And I can't say that I'm disappointed. I love it. I'm a little bit of word and grammar Nazi, so it's so nice. Oh, Addison's gonna love this. This is her thing. She always says, "This is my thing." This is really gonna be her thing. And here, another 
one of those matching stories. The girl had a pail full of nails. She needs to bring the pail down the trail to her dad, who was repairing a sailboat, but she turned the wrong way on the trail and is lost. <laughs> They're good imaginations, these writers there. Okay. Anyway, video's already 20 minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up after I show you the books that came with it. Uh, hey! They're a child's color. Not my color, but anyway. It's cute. Illustrations are... I mean, it's just so hard to describe. I'm not using really good words. I'm just rambling on, but it is so good and the quality is really great and I don't know what else to say I should find one of these adjectives in this book <laughs> because I have none just, I just so hard to describe how awesome this is it really is I I mean you've seen tons of unboxings of curriculum on YouTube and sometimes it's just you know what you're gonna get I was surprised maybe because it's the next new thing I said yesterday like all of us are great for the new and the shiny and then the next week I totally hate this so anyway here are the sight word ladders I love these um, I know that she already knows a lot of those it's all gonna work out same thing with her I'll probably just use half of the lists I'm not sure what how we're supposed to use them but there weren't enough for 30 weeks of school so I'll probably just break them up or maybe they're an interwoven I didn't think about that they may be interwoven into the course book over here so anyway poetry all the same stuff practice charts of words and you saw this book earlier and when I was comparing it until and they only have one reader with level two but you saw this when I was showing you my son's this one is full color the stories are much shorter I mean she read the first story really quickly the other day truly really practice so um not very difficult at all. They'll probably finish this within the first, I don't know, day or two because it's not very difficult at all. But I said in my other video, uh, if I never see another lot of phonics card, it'll be too soon. It comes with phonics cards. Um, I'm not going to open those. They'll become um, game pieces around here with their imagination. And I love that it came with four books that she can read on her own she was really impressed because my third graders are doing um some using some used sunlight materials and um lumber camp library was one of their books on the third grade level and um and my fourth grader read this book this year just because he wanted to and he never had and that she's going to be reading this in second grade she was like i am so smart guys i'm reading third grade fourth grade anyway she was floating a little so sarah plain and tall came this one, of course, the books aren't very long. Small books and um, Prairie School. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I think it's the beadiest, beadiest boy. Never heard of it before, uh, literature person. So this one's really nice and full color. It's level four. She's just thinking. Anytime we see levels, we compare them to grades. So she was thinking, I can read like a fourth grader. Anyway, she was super stoked. And so are we. I think that's all. Um, hopefully I can upload this one without a problem. Here's Dylan on the other side of the sofa following his mommy around with cuteness. He's my gifted child that's musically inclined. He loves drums and keyboard and skateboarding. Inside for football yesterday, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, this is not a part of it, so yeah. I don't Oh, we yeah, have practice today, yes. I saw this on someone's, I think it's Megan Phillips. I could totally be wrong. I'll link it down below if I can find it. Of a chart that you can fill out yourself. So I made this for my son. And it does print in color. I'm not sure why my printer did not print it in color. But anyway, we're going to be using something like this to make um, checklists for next year that go along with um, their thing. Just so they'll you know, take a little bit more responsibility for their own learning and mommy less than they usually do anyway i hope you enjoyed looking through the good and the beautiful it really is good and beautiful however cliche that is but it's really true i really love it and we haven't even started using it we've only done like one lesson just to get a feel for it and i'm already in love kudos to me on trying to move to the minimalist lifestyle if i can with five children living here in texas anyway thanks a lot for watching
for watching my video and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Most of mine are very informative with lots of rambling and um, I apologize, it's just who I am. Um, thanks for watching, hit the like button and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more fun videos like this. Thanks a lot, have a blessed day.